Hello, in this lecture we're going to talk about the high-low method. At the end of this, we will be able to explain what the high-low method is. Support accounting instruction by clicking the link below, giving you a free month membership to all of the content on our website, broken out by category, further broken out by course. Each course then organized in a logical, reasonable fashion, making it much more easy to find what you need than can be done on a YouTube page. We also include added resources such as Excel practice problems, PDF files, and more like QuickBooks backup files when applicable. So once again, click the link below for a free month membership to our website and all the content on it. This is and why we use it and calculate an estimate for variable cost and fixed cost using the high-low method. So we're going to work through a problem using this data set on this side. So we've got the months, we've got the sales data, we've got the total costs. And our objective, the objective of the high-low method will be that we have the total cost here, but we don't know what the variable cost or fixed cost portion of that total cost is. This is a common problem when we try to think of managerial accounting. Remember, we're often trying to say, okay, what's the variable costs? What's the fixed cost? And we want to break them out by behavior so that we can more easily make projections and estimates by treating cost by behavior now in an ideal world we would know exactly what you know which costs would be variable and which would be fixed but in reality of course there are a lot of costs that we don't know exactly what the variable or fixed portion is and we can then use some type of estimate because we still really want to use the variable cost and fixed cost in order to make projections so in order to do that we can then try to figure out what the estimated portion of a variable portion and fixed portion would be on uh, on a cost and we can use the high low method in order to do that so what we're going to do is we're going to break out these costs so we're going to look for an estimate a way to break out the variable portion and then then once we know the variable portion we of course then can figure out what the fixed portion is uh, those being the two portions of the total cost so in order to do that we're going to use the high low formula the high low formula is going to be the cost at the high point and minus the cost at the low point. So if we're looking at the cost over here, of course, these will be the high point, the 249,136 is the high point, and the low point is the 61,000 here. And then we're gonna take the over divided by the volume at the high point. In this case, we're gonna use the sales dollars minus the volume at the low point. So we're using sales dollars in order to drive this uh, calculation. And of course, th that will be the 356,000 at the high point and the 75,200 at the low point. So we're gonna plug this information into our formula. Note that we're taking the high point and the low point and we're kind of doing like an estimate. So if we get the thing right at the high point and the low point and we, we come out to, in this case, we're gonna come out to the same fixed cost number, then we're gonna say, okay, that's a pretty good estimate for uh, this particular type of cost. All right, so let's plug in the numbers. So the cost at the high point is gonna be this 249,136. So if we look at the cost in this data set, of course, we're taking the high number, which will be this number here. And then we're gonna subtract, according to the formula over here, the uh, cost at the low point. And if we look through the cost on this data set, we come up to this 61,000 here. We're gonna divide that by the volume at the high point, in this case, volume being in sales dollars. And of course, that's gonna be this 356,000 here minus and then we're going to have the volume at the low point volume at the low point being this 75,200 here and that's going to be there then if we do the subtraction in the numerator and the denominator we say that 249,136 minus the 61,000 is 188,136 uh, then we subtract the, de the denominator the 356,000 minus the 75,200 will give us the 280,800 then if we take this and divide it by this in a calculator, this divided by that, we are going to equal the 0.67 or 67 cents. So that's going to be what we're going to use then uh, in order to allocate the variable portion. So we're going to say uh, 0.67 of the volume, in this case being the sales dollar, will be the variable portion. And then once we figure that out, we can then subtract the total from the variable portion to get the fixed portion. And uh, we'll do that calculation for the high point and the low point, and we will hopefully come out to the same calculation for the fixed portion. That would, that's what we would expect. Uh, the fixed portion is gonna be fixed at the high point and the low point and should therefore be the same. All right, so we're gonna then calculate the high, uh, low method. We're gonna calculate the high point to see how the uh, allocation could work. 
and then kind of break out what the variable on the fixed cost would be. All right, so here's the high point. So we have the total cost of the 249,136. We want to break that out between a variable portion and a fixed portion. In order to do that, we're going to do the variable cost at the high point calculation. So we are going to take, to do that, we're going to take the volume at the high point. So that's the volume in terms of sales dollars here. That's where we come up with this uh, 356,000. We're going to multiply that times the variable cost per sales dollar. That's our calculation up here. Variable cost per sales dollar gives us that uh, 0.67. And if we multiply this 356,000 times the 0.67, we come up with the 238,520. That's the variable portion of this total cost. That's the variable portion. Therefore, if this is the total minus the variable portion, the only other piece being the fixed portion, subtracting those out, we get the 10,616 fixed portion. So now this total cost is broken out between the variable portion, the 238,510, and the fixed portion. 10,116. Now, if we do the same method for the, if we do the same calculation for the low point, we're going to come out to the same fixed cost, although variable cost will change. So let's do that. We're going to say the low point, then same calculation. There's a very, very less in terms of total cost, the 61,000. We want to break that out between the variable portion, fixed portion, same calculation. We're going to take the uh, variable cost at the low point calculation. So we're going to take the volume at the low point. That's the sales dollars in this case, the 75,200. We're going to multiply that times the variable cost per sales dollar, the 0.67. And if we multiply that out, we get the total variable cost at the low point, 50,384. And if this is the total cost, if that's the variable portion, then we subtract those out to get the fixed portion being the 10,616. So it's the same at the high point and the low point. That's why it's kind of an average that we can use. So we can kind of use it at any point because we're estimating that it's basically good as, as the average on the high and the low point. So we can see that comparison here. We can see that at the high point, we have a, a much more total, much larger total cost than at the low point. Uh, and we can see that the variable portion, of course, is, is highly different. That's what's going to change. The fixed portion is what is remaining the same in this calculation that's what we would expect at the two extreme points using this high low method